And we're back. Let's talk to the greedy sounding baker guy. Because he is greedy. More talking! Yay! Hi there! Have you invested in your future? This is the place to save. Mind you, you don't actually get any sort of uh, interest or anything, so there's not much point other than the fact that gold gets heavy. I'm Sam. Sam the Banker Man. I own and run this bank. Would you like to make a deposit? Um, maybe later? The First Bank of Silmaria will keep your money safe and secure. Drachmas can get heavy when you carry too much of it. And you make yourself a target for every cut purse around. There are no cut purses, but like I said, money does get heavy. The Right of Rulership Fund is set up for the competition to become King of Silmaria. You need to contribute 1,000 drachmas in order to enter the Right of Rulership. Usually people have friends and relatives help raise that much cash. We have one fund which gets contributions from all the guards in Silmaria. It takes a lot of money to enter the Right of Rulership, but it is a great honor to compete to become King. Indeed. What about savings? Your savings will be kept in the most secure safe in all of Selmaria. The safe is equipped with the latest in modern locks and has a complex strap guaranteed to fry the robber foolish enough to try it. Thanks to your good friends, you've already got 500 drachmas in your account. Now, mind you, that safe that's supposed to fry any foolish thing, it's really not that complicated. Um, I don't trust this guy, because he used to be a panhandler. That lion guy said that he and Erasmus the wizard were starting the savings account for you. They wanted you to enter the right of rulership. Man, you have strange taste in friends, but they sure make good ones. Uh -huh. What about Silmaria? Silmaria is a great place to settle down and save a little for the future. Too many people forget how important a savings account can be, particularly adventurers. Adventurers think they can fight monsters forever. Next thing they know, they are begging in alleyways. A sad fate for a once respectable hero. So save today to keep the alleys away, I always say. It's a interesting way to think. Really, we will be fighting forever. Or be king. One of the two. I thought you looked familiar. Yeah, we met in Spielberg, where I was working the alley as a professional panhandler. It wasn't long after you left Spielberg that the pass cleared and the tourists flocked back to town. I made a small fortune and said bye-bye to those cold climbs. Came to Selmaria and needed some place to stash my cash. So I started my own bank. Seemed appropriate after all. I'm still asking others for their money. Yes, and he will ask. Our you. banking hours are dawn to dusk daily. When you save here, you know your money is safe. Alright, let's make a transaction. Now, if you're the thief, you always want to have some money on hands because the. Thieves Guild won't uh, take money out of your account. However, everyone else... A drachma saved is a drachma earned, I always say. Everyone else will uh, be able to access your account. It's like you got some sort of... It's like you want to make That's the way. Others. A few more drachmas and you'll be entering the Hall of oh. Kings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, like I was saying earlier, we want to make sure we walk down these stairs. Um, I have encountered kind of glitched several times where the character will jump down and die for some horrible reason. Not that it's really that far of a jump. I guess you just break your leg and you're like, oh no, I can't compete. Alright, uh, we got plenty of time. Let's go buy stuff. We'll be talking to the gentleman in here. Let's 
again. Walk down the stairs. Oh dear, there's no one in here. Let's look around at some stuff. Liontar. Mage Liontar. Greetings, Prince of Shapir. My father, Rakish, informed me of your arrival. I am Chakra Sultana, and this is the magic shop of Silmaria. Yay, magic shop. We'll be visiting him quite a bit. First, let's sell some things. Oh, he doesn't have anything. Let's purchase some things, then. Before we do anything, we're purchasing, purchasing a set of mixed stick magnets. Now, when you purchase things, you can... Haggle. We're gonna do a bit of haggling, not too much. I thank, thank you for doing business with me. Okay. That's a very important item to buy. You will fail the game if you don't buy it. Simple as that. Uh, we can buy a magic charm place someday. Magic check someday. I want a few mana potions, though. Reasonable offer, but I would be. This is acceptable. We have a deal. That's all I want. I think I have most of the other things. Let's talk to him a bit. Uh, talk to him. Well, we'll greet him first. Greetings unto you, wizard. I am a wizard like yourself. I apprentice with my mother, Krisha, and the enchantress, Aziza of Shapir. I am specializing in object enchantment. Awesome. My mother thinks highly of your magical skills. With several years of devotion to the art, you could become one of the most powerful of wizards. Kaboom. The Enchantress Aziza is a very good teacher. She demands precision and dedication to the art of magic. I had to work very hard to please her, but I learned much. Yes, and with that learning much, you will make mana potions for me, and only me. I make mystic magnets, and have made a magical charm bracelet that enhances a wizard's skills. I also create mana pills and mana potions. Sorry, we've been buying mana pills. Yes, we're going to pop pills. Don't pop pills, kids, unless they're doctor recommended. And only then at recommended doses. Just stay healthy. The mystic magnets are a pair. You set one in a place of safety, a bedroom for example. You have only to use the other magnet upon yourself to teleport instantly back to the room with the other magnet. As you can tell, this can save your life when you are in danger. And get you off islands that you can't get off of otherwise. I mean... Hey, about that charm... The magic charm bracelet increases the wearer's magical skills immensely. It is very difficult to create, and I have only one available for sale right now. Yay. What about those mana pills? Mana pills help restore some of your magical essence after you have cast spells. And the container will vanish when the pills have been used. Vanishing containers? We should develop those. Vanishing bottles, vanishing soda cans. Instead of recycling, just have them vanish. I think we're better off recycling, actually. Potions! Mana potions restore your mana completely. It is more efficient than taking the mana pills, but it is more expensive. A lot. Alright, we only have a few more things to ask him, but we're running out of time! So, we'll finish asking about magic and magic spells and magic shop and talking about ourselves. Because we'll do that a lot. Eat, shut up. Alright, we'll be right back.